what is up you awesome people out there welcome back to the channel so not too long ago I saw a video by bot grinder and he had mentioned why is 5 inch freestyle dying so I was kind of compelled to really respond to that video but before we begin do check out bot grinders video and that's the video in the links down below and do check out his channel he's got some really awesome content and really really nice flying style that you might enjoy and uh, plus his uh, antics on camera it's really entertaining to watch so do check him out below so as he mentioned in the video is about five inch drones and why five inch is dying it may not be to some but it could be that for the majority as they might be flying less five inch and more micros and tiny whoops also for some it could be a source of inconvenience flying a larger quad and maybe they've got a small little space and a large 5 inch just it's a bit too much for that particular space that could probably be one of the reasons why not many people flying 5 inch nowadays of course I know some in Singapore are still flying 5 inch and these guys are all the hardcore freestylers you know who you are but with Singapore being a small island and space is really valuable here there's not many places that you can actually fly due to the um, restrictions from the aviation authority that being said the aviation authority does give us space to do our hobbies happily and that's that I on the other hand started off with five inch uh, five inch race analog racer and that's one of the quads that I used to fly often and probably rip like 20 packs flying in circles non-stop back to back and really practicing flying really fast so one of the reasons why I stopped flying 5 inch so often it's mainly because of the ease of carrying the equipment and also I feel that sometimes the sound of the 5 inch can be quite intimidating especially when you're flying out in the park and it's like an example over here when it takes a turn so that's one of the reasons why I mostly fly micros and tiny whoops so one of the nice tiny whoops that I fly recently is this um, 65 millimeter tiny whoop this is the uh, 2024 Mobilus 6 and it's size wise it's like easier to carry and you only like carry like one pack of lipos like a pack of six inside a small tiny box and that's about it as compared to a 5 inch where you've got lots of like 6s 4s lipos to carry with your 5 inch quad and these are more Ooh, sh uh, there you go so that's a clean example see these are more resilient to falling off from your hands or dropping in from the sky and there's nothing wrong with it but if you were to drop a 5 inch quad and it's gonna break something at with its weight so uh, that's one of the reasons why I fly micros and tiny whoops more than I fly 5 inch drones. So don't get me wrong, I love flying all kinds of drones and I fly drones from like tiny whoops, 65mm tiny whoops, 5 inch and all the way up to X class. I, I really enjoy flying them all, it each has its own uniqueness towards it. And flying them is also really really enjoyable, especially with the HD systems like DJI, Walk Snail, HD Zero and this gives you clarity of a view as compared to the analog and thus it actually creates a more feel of what you're looking at while you're in the air and that's one of the reasons why some people convert from flying video drones to switch to FPV Right, so I'll be flying the 65mm Tiny Whoop or maybe my 75mm Shogun Whoop, I don't know so let's see how it goes and whether it's Taking a turn, I better do it fast.
Alright, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed that. And till the next one, thank you all for watching and see you guys again soon. Ciao.